How's it going everybody? Welcome to Hustle with Drew and in today's video I am going to give you guys a breakdown of my iPad photo booth build. This is the iPad uh, setup that I'm using. We have about five, five events consistently on a weekend and this is something we're using at weddings, we're using this at birthday parties, quinceaneras, corporate events, the list goes on. This is what we're using. So let me get right into it. Uh, before we get into the video, as always, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video, and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. So let's just get right into it. The first thing you're gonna need is a ring light. So this right here is just a generic one I had laying around from an old uh, photo booth setup. You know, I literally just use the iPad mount in a, in a stand. But you'll need some type of ring light. This is gonna be your light source, and this is also gonna hold the iPad in place. And that's very important. Those are the two key opponents of an iPad photo booth. Light and then somewhere to put your iPad in. So um, we like to use the newer brand. It's um, available on Amazon. I'm gonna leave the links to buy everything uh, in the description. Everything except for the wood, that is something you're gonna need to go to Lowe's or Home Depot. A lot of times, you guys, Home Depot has free wood available in the back. You can like literally get free pieces if you look. Sometimes it's available, but so yeah, this is the first thing you're gonna need. The next thing you're gonna need is this right here is a DJ speaker tripod. Um, basically, I'm sure you guys have seen this at any like DJ or any type of event. It's just a tripod that opens up, right? You can lock it and it has a pole right here. And um, this is super important. This is what's gonna hold and support your whole photo booth. So uh, you're gonna need this, again, link in the description. And the next piece that you will need, let me see if you can see it. So this right here is a, uh, it's like a bracket that um, will basically go on top. It'll, it's gonna attach on your speaker thing like this. And then this will allow you to attach the piece of wood with the ring light and the iPad on it like this. So. It's, this is super, super important. Without this, the whole photo booth won't work. Actually, without any of the parts, it won't work, but uh, again, this will be in the description. The next thing you will need, obviously, iPad. This is something, uh, you know, by now you guys, if you're ready to get into the business, do your research, make sure you find an iPad that you can afford, or if you already have one, perfect. I always recommend getting the iPad with the cellular option on it. That way you can throw a SIM card in there and have your own internet. You don't have to rely on your customer's Wi-Fi or, you know, that's just another thing you don't want to worry about. So you have, you have uh, your iPad, then the next thing you're going to want to buy is really any generic um, iPad case, you know, um, like a case that, that's like a plastic case where you can hold it. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to one that I bought for my iPad and um, we'll get into details why you need the iPad case in a little bit. So real quick, let me put my photo booth together, my build, and I'll show you guys what mine looks like currently. Um, it's pretty much finished. The only thing that we need to add is a scrim, like a skirt to go over the tripod. Um, it's really not necessary, but it'll just, it's gonna make our booths look a lot nicer. It's gonna hide the cords and it's not gonna make the stand look like a stand so much. So I'm gonna put it together real quick and uh, yeah, see you in a second. You know what, I'm gonna show you guys up close. Let me just bring this up right here. So, this is what it's gonna look like. The tripod obviously is down there, but you see this piece right here? This is where you're gonna slide in uh, the ring light with the iPad already in it. It's this simple, you guys. Check it out. It just Turn it from here. Hopefully you guys can see that. It just slides in and then there's a little screw right here that's included. You just screw it on so it's, uh, it stays. And then just like that, you have your photo booth. Um, this is the setup we're using. Obviously I didn't plug it in, you can't see the cables or anything. But this photo booth here has generated us thousands of dollars already. I think we're already on pace to make around 60, maybe 70, if things continue the way they are. And um, yeah, let me really quick just demonstrate um, and show you guys what we did to the back. Cause I know a lot of people are asking about the wood. Um, yeah, so let me take this off. So what we did is, you saw the ring light before, right? 
it was literally just a light and all this stuff is opened up. What we did is we got, uh, I think it's like a third or a fifth inch plywood. I would recommend even going bigger. I just cut on, um, there's like a little jigsaw tool and I just trace it out, cut, it, cut the circle around here, right here on the piece of wood. And literally you guys, I just found a screw just big enough to go through the wood into the ring light. And I just screwed the screws all around here. Screwed it around and that is holding the wood in place. Um, could I have potentially drilled into something into the light? Yes, that's a possibility. But I only did five and the screws were literally maybe I would say a couple centimeters or just a little bit bigger than the actual wood, just enough to penetrate the, the light and hold it. And um, this piece right here, this is gonna come, uh, this is included when you buy the TV mount that goes onto uh, the tripod, this thing right here. So it comes with that and it comes with this. And again, I just, this just basically, these screws here, wood screws, I believe. And I got it just thick enough to where it won't pass the wood, if that makes any sense, because this is just being held in by the wood, but it's just some stain, some wood stain. I think I paid $5 at Home Depot for the, the uh, for this, and it also worked on our other four booths, so super useful here. And um, right here, we just printed it out on a printer. It says, look here, that way people know where to look. Uh, so, you know, Monse, my partner, was telling me to actually swap this out She's saying we should swap this out with an arrow, that this is a little bit deceiving because sometimes we have the booth set up like this because the cool thing about this, uh, you know, this right here, it'll allow you guys to rotate your booth. So you're not stuck with your photo booth like this, you can rotate it. But yeah, so she's saying we should just put an arrow there. That'll be a lot simpler. But let me just show you the, the neat thing about this. Okay, so it's on, check it out. You can rotate it. And then there's a little screw right here that's included. You just screw it on so it's, uh, it stays. <laughs> but I'm glad it happened because if you don't put this piece on, let me show you. This piece comes with the mount that goes onto the back. You're supposed to screw it in so it doesn't move no matter how much you rotate it or anything. So uh, make sure you have this on. And um, for this piece right of uh, this other side, we just painted it black. That way it looks like it's floating and it's levitating, so it looks really, really neat that way. Um, let me take off the iPad. Okay. So, now let's talk about, let's talk about this. All right, so all this is is a plastic little case that we got on Amazon. It came with this piece here, and it also came with like a, a leather, I guess like leather or a, I don't know, some kind of cloth that folds over that protects it when it's closed. So what we did is we just took that, we just cut the, that sleeve off and we're just left with the plastic part. And um, right here, we just three screws. I drilled um, into the plastic with a small, tiny little drill bit, did it here, and then put the screws on. So you can see, look, this thing's not going anywhere and it's very easy to put the iPad in, just like that. So that's pretty much the setup. Here we go from far, far away again. Not bad in my opinion. This photo booth cost us, you know, we're talking about from the iPad and um, everything. I think we paid no more than like 600, 700, just because we went with the bigger, newer iPad model. We could have easily just ran um, like a $200 iPad in the setup and been good to go with just $400. And um, my own experience, we can make that back in one event. We have uh, an event coming up where it's like $750 for using this setup. So don't let anyone tell you that you need to spend thousands of dollars on something. You guys, you can do this yourself. You can build it yourself. Um, you know, by no means is this the most beautiful setup, but it's good enough. And we've never had someone complain about the way it looks. If it's good for someone's wedding, which we've done plenty, then I think that says all you need to know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, that's the most important thing, and hit the notification bell. And again, you guys, I will leave everything in the description uh, to buy if you wanna do this yourself. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video, bye. <clears throat> you can rotate it.